hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are at the first round of Noob Journey Season 2. I am so excited, it is unbelievable. The hype for this in the chats have been absolutely, um, it's been, it's been so good, it's been so high. Uh, and we are for round one, Jack, uh, Jack Rickson and Chuke Master 22 have chosen Italy, which was a surprise to all of us because now before the race they told us to sweat um, Australia. So... Was a surprise to all of us. Um, one thing to note going into this season now is that our teammate for preseason, Frobo Jobo three one three, is not now our teammate. Unfortunately, he has moved on to uh, bigger and better things. Uh, wait, hold on, what's that? <laughs> anyway, let's go to qualifying. So hello and welcome to qualifying for round one of season two of New Journey around Italy as we come onto the start finish straight as we start the lap coming down to the first very very tight chicane reaching 225, 26 miles an hour before we break at 150 meters. Go a little bit slow in there going down the gears a little bit too quickly but it is a beautiful beautiful exit off of the chicane and we uh, it is a very very smooth exit not our fast as you can see with three tenths down just in that first sector alone which isn't great but we are we are making it smooth keeping it clean this is good this is fine so you break at 100 meters lock up a little bit as we try and oversee the car which was very very much hindered our uh, our line with a very good exit off that as we break at just before 50 meters just after 50 meters Go down into fourth gear and then go up very early. Loving that into sixth. Break just bef just before 150. Yeah, there, just for 50 meters. Great exit there. Absolutely great exit. Look at the time we're gaining as we open the DRS, coming down to Ascari, one of my favourite corners on the F1 circuit, reaching 220 miles an hour before we break at 100 meters. Smooth through here. How smooth are we going to be? We're going to be very very smooth. Maybe open the car up just a little bit there. Open it up the steering. But as we come down towards I think this is La Source. I actually cannot remember any of the corners. We break at 100 meters. Try and carry the speed in. Not our fastest exit. Can we get on the power early? We can. Come on, then. As we power it towards the line, two seconds up on our personal best. Let's see where it puts us. It puts us P9, only a position above. But let's go to the full grid lineup. So T Quickshare picks up where he left off and gets pole position with Morgue 6908 there. Picking up a very, very surprise in second place, especially on the soft tyres, but he does have a five-place grid penalty. In third place is Callum W180, showing the form that he showed in pre-season with Charlie in fourth place. Very surprising fourth place, but good qualifying from him. Briggs is in fifth with Die Hard in sixth, another possible championship contender, so we'll see how he does in this race. The Rusters are new. I don't know whether he's our new teammate or not in seventh place. Respawn in eighth, us in ninth with December in tenth. But he is just outside, no afraid to Lama, finishing out the top 12. It's race time, it's the Italian Grand Prix, and as you can see, it's going to be a wet one at the end of this race. Uh, we're going to go super soft, that's what we qualified on, into softs, but I'm hoping, hoping and praying that that rain comes out, or if not then we're doing a super soft, super soft, soft, which is the uh, strategy that I'm going to choose, because it will be better, but you know, we're going to have to see when this rain comes, I'm hoping it is as early as physically possible, um, but I guess we'll find out as we start. The formation lap as we're loading in very slowly so in this race I was just hoping to sort of finish get get some points get something from this race as uh, it's actually carnage through here uh, but we were, we were just trying to get something something good um, would be amazing the Rusters has left the session I don't know whether that's a DC or what but he's left whatever um, so it was all about it was all about where we were gonna where we we're gonna be after turn one because we were in a very very poor position to be honest because of uh, you know the very very tight chicane, we didn't want to get absolutely destroyed in the rear end coming into uh, coming into turn one. So not in the best position. I prefer to be right at the back, to be honest, because then you can sort of 
feed through it all um, or right at the front so then if someone hits you you're still at the front but it was never going to happen we're always always going to be in the midfield so let's just hope as we load in to the race as Reese is taking forever one two three four five red lights and we're off for the start of this Italian Grand Prix of the Noob Journey. Good start from us. Great start. Our second, our first phase was absolutely incredible. Yellow flag already, so there must have been an instant. We're going to go up the inside of Briggsy, up the inside of Reese, up the inside of maybe Morgs as well. As there's been a crash between Die Hard and Charlie. They've all gone. And we are up into third place here. Legitimate third place. The safety car has has come out with uh, T Quick Share in first, Callum in second. Us in third, Morgs in fourth, and I believe the seven managed to feed through into fifth place. So, uh, so if you guys been out for a while now, lap four we now move on to. Lap four, Jay Corrigan is now in fourth place if we keep hitting Charlie because the safety car is going so, so slowly. Ah, oh, this is unbelievable. But why has the safety car got a green light on? Also, look at that rain. Look at that rain. That is unbelievable. Pass, do we pass the safety car? Do we pass the safety car? I believe we do. Two illegal overtakes, so just go past, go past, go past, go past, go past. Alright, that's fine. So, as we absolutely light up the rears in the wet, oh wow, that's not helped us at all, and we've been absolutely demolished. We're down into seventh place. What is going on? The safety car has absolutely done us. Now we've got to catch the safety car as we make an illegal overtake on just Butius. Just Butius, but Corrigan then goes through, unsurprisingly, you know, he was entitled to, to be honest. We were going slowly, so now it's sort of a race, but not a race at the same time. As Butius just cuts us up, what on earth is he doing? Butius has just absolutely cut us up. Whether we got oversteer, I don't know, but he has cut us up, and now we're down into 11th place. Die hard there on the intermediate tyres, so they've made the early pit stop and they've made it work. As uh, apparently he got an illegal overtake on us, I'm not quite sure how, but that's what happened. Um, so we are now trying, trying our best to get to the pits. Um, to put on a set of the intermediate tyre. Now we've seen Die Hard do it. I think that's the strategy we're going to go for. It's going to be absolutely impossible to try and get back to the pits. It's going to be unbelievable. Um, but it has been difficult as we pass Die Hard, pass, Mo pass Morgs, legitimately pass Morgs. We did stop, but we have legitimately passed Morgs. We're up into ninth place or something like that. Um, but we are trying our hardest to get back into the pits. It's becoming increasingly difficult to get back into the pits here. Um, so we're trying though, we're doing our best and we're going to break very very early because we don't really, oh wow it's 50 miles an hour and we're going in so slow, we didn't get a drive through so that's fine. Um, we do have front wing damage but that doesn't need to be changed so that's fine, that is not important as we get the intermediates on, quick 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 quick, come on, come on, come on, come on. 2.9 seconds that's fine, just didn't want to get held up in the pits because there is quite a few cars behind us, um, but that safety car is a very long way away. Um, as we absolutely try and come on, come on where's the line there's the line all right power we were very very unsure of those intermediates weren't we so let's try and catch up to the safety car let's speed this clip up a little bit here we go that's good that seems very f oh my god the lock up oh wow and then factual's going off we ever take him we can't oh no we can be stuck behind factual now going slowly as we can't break as we can't break oh no Oh, this is horrific. This is this is very bad. Safety car is coming in. Oh, we need to really push. We need to try and get into this. But no, safety car is there. And it's just been appalling. Appalling from us. As we just cannot, cannot just sort of stop the car spinning. We're very, very unused to these intermediate tyres. We don't know where we're braking. Oh, this is horrific. This is, this is not great from us. As we lock up a little bit from probably going too slowly. Um, as we overtake Morgs and then Butties Crackis as well so we've got both of them at least uh, which might help slightly uh, but Butties is going to get the slipstream as we are running in lean there is, I don't know, I think that was Sasemba, Teak I know hadn't come in so I think Teak's behind as Butties does something similar to us and just completely mucks up the braking as Factual's still ahead of us. No, it was Sasema behind us, and I think Teak's behind him as well. As we, ch oh, we just did not accelerate there, as Morgan's just gone up the inside of us, to be honest. We just did not accelerate. As Factual's having an absolute moment, but that's fine from us. We are absolutely fine on lap 6, but we are going so slowly as Sasema is behind us. Probably struggling to catch up. I think Sasema dived out of the inside and didn't 
no, no, it was just a racing incident between us, but now we come on to lap 7 and overtake uh, Ben something or other, there's Fatal Impala is right behind us as well, but we are going very, very slowly, this is poor from us, absolutely poor, we're getting our braking all, all wrong here, not catching anyone, we are still in ninth place, we do still have a couple of points, so that's, that's something at least, uh, we're going to look at the inside of Fatal Impala, probably not, as we brake beautifully here, but still locking up, so we need to stop absolutely planting the brake here, we do need to stop absolutely planting it, but we're going to try, try go around Fatal Impala around the uh, around the outside of the final corner here. So side by side here, are we ahead now? We are ahead. We're going to break nicely, lock up, but that's fine. We're going to leave him enough room, as he's 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 just messed it up in my mirror. I've just noticed that absolutely messed it up in the race. No idea what happened. Now I can see it. He just absolutely mucked it up. But that's fine because we are up into 8th place. And at the end of lap 8 as well, we are really struggling. Look at the steering lock we're putting on. That's unreal. That is ridiculous. Charlie, oh, that's a little bit tentative as we plant. Oh my god, we got on the curve. No! Oh my god, that's an impact. How the hell have we not lost a tyre? Oh my god, how the hell have we not lost a tyre? That is unbelievable. We can carry on after that. That would have been an absolute demolishment in F1. There goes T. There goes December. So we're actually sort of quite a bit ahead of them. So Semmer came out just just behind us and we've been ahead all this time. So for all our struggles we were actually having some decent pace as we uh, come on to lap 9 here. There is Charlie having another incident. Thank God for ghosting. But yeah, he was having another incident. As I can't be honest, it's one second now to Charlie because he was spinning round and round and round in circles. We break just before the 100 metres going into that chicane. Breaking. Oh, it's the lockups that are doing us really. If we're 1.6 seconds up of what we were as uh, we are vaguely catching down to Semba here, we're actually, we're actually having a decent time of it here. Die Hard is looking really quick though, unbelievably quick. As we... Oh my god, the oversteer! But why... I actually have no idea. Like, what? Please, if, if you know what the hell is going on there, please tell me. Because nothing... Like, like what? We, we were running alongside a wall and it's just completely destroyed us. So that's, uh, that's an odd one, but uh, we carry on again, didn't hurt our tyres or anything. So we come up behind Charlie here, another lockup, not great from us as Charlie is having a moment. Didn't really want to spin him out, but Charlie's just hit the side of us and, well, we did a good job to save that, but he has just legitimately hit the side of us, so that was a bit, uh, that's a bit of a weird one. Um, no, again, another racing incident, we were going side by side, it is the noob journey. As Butch's crack, in fact, there's Fatal Impala that's having an absolute mare there. So I don't know what's going on with him, but he might be a lap down. That Chilin Parlor might actually be a lap down as we're having another moment. No. Go on, let's get it straightened. Let's go. No. Are you actually joking me after those incidents? That's what's caused us to... We've, we've retired from that. Are you joking, mate? Are you actually joking me after all of those incidents? But... I don't think it would have made any difference because we had about 18 seconds worth of time penalties. So that wouldn't have made any difference. So let's just wait for the guys to finish because they're poor, absolutely poor race from us. It was horrific. Oh my god. Holy Jesus. Oh wow. That is... Oh my god. That is incredible. That That is that is something else. What a crash that is. Loving that spectacular uh, little impact there. So there you have it. The results are here. Die Hard finishes in first place just like he did in pre-season. Making the most of his strategy as well. Callum W won 18 second place. Corrigan third. Pepsi fourth. Morgan in fifth place. Look at all those penalties from the top five. Teak and December sixth and seventh. Briggs in eighth. Ben six five six uh, whatever that is in ninth. And Charlie in tenth place. Look at all of those penalties. Oh, Teak and December did very very well. Not to get anything from there. They had a really good race actually. Uh, from what I from what I saw. So uh, well done to them. Congratulations to them. And obviously congratulations to Die Hard. Callum and Corrigan for getting on the podium um, in the end a very close race between them only six and seven seconds represent rep, uh, respectively um, in between them so thank you guys so much for watching of course I will see you guys next time for round two of the new journey of which we have no idea what track it is so uh, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time Across the room, those eyes kept following